Claire Catherine Danes is an American actress. She is the recipient of three Primetime Emmy Awards, four Golden Globe Awards, and two Screen Actors Guild Awards. In 2012, Time named her one of the 100 most influential people in the world, and she was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2015. Danes gained early recognition as Angela Chase in the 1994 teen drama series My So-Called Life. The role won her a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress and a Primetime Emmy nomination for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series. She made her film debut the same year in Little Women. Her other films include Home for the Holidays, Romeo plus Juliet, The Rainmaker, Les Miserables, Broke Down Palace, the 1999 English dub of Princess Mononoke, The Hours, Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines, Shopgirl, Stardust, and A Kid Like Jake. From 1998 to 2000, Danes attended Yale University before dropping out to return to acting. She appeared in an off-Broadway production of The Vagina Monologues in 2000 and made her Broadway debut playing Eliza Doolittle in the 2007 revival of Pygmalion. In 2010, she portrayed Temple Grandin in the highly acclaimed HBO television film Temple Grandin, which won her a second Golden Globe and her first Primetime Emmy Award for the Outstanding Lead Actress in a Limited Series or Movie. From 2011 to 2020, she starred as Carrie Matheson in the Showtime drama series Homeland, for which she won two Primetime Emmy Awards for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series, two Golden Globe Awards for Best Actress, Television Series Drama, and the Television Critics Association Award for Individual Achievement in Drama. Early life and education Danes was born in Manhattan, New York City, the daughter of sculptor and printmaking artist, Carla Danes, and photographer Christopher Danes. Her older brother, Asa, is a lawyer. During Danes's childhood, her mother ran a small toddler daycare center called, Danes Tribe, out of the family's Soho loft and later served as Danes's manager. Danes's father worked as a residential general contractor in New York for 20 years in a company he ran called, Overall Construction. He also worked as a photographer and computer consultant. Danes is named after her paternal grandmother, Claire Danes. Danes is primarily of German and British descent. The family lived in an artist's loft on Crosby Street. Danes attended PS3 and PS11 for elementary school and professional performing arts school for junior high school. She attended the New York City Lab School for Collaborative Studies in Manhattan. She attended the Dalton School for one year of high school before moving with her parents to Santa Monica, California, for the role in My So-Called Life. They moved two days after the 1994 Northridge earthquake. Danes graduated from the Lycée Français de Los Angeles in 1997. In 1998, she began studies at Yale University. After studying for two years as a psychology major, she dropped out to focus on her film career. Acting career Danes started studying dance when she was six years old. She took dance classes from Ellen Robbins at Dance Theater Workshop and acting classes at HB Studio the Lee Strasberg Theater and Film Institute at the age of 10. She appeared in theater and video productions in New York City. Although she continued to dance, Danes said that her focus shifted to acting by the time she was nine years old. Her audition with Milos Forman when she was 11 led to roles in several student films. She signed with agent Karen Friedman at the Writers and Artists Talent Agency at age 12. Television at age 13, Danes got her first big job working on the Dudley Moore TV sitcom pilot called Dudley, which was shot at Silvercup Studios in Astoria, Queens. Danes played a teenage murderer in a guest-starring role on Law and & Order in the season 3 episode, Skin Deep. She appeared in an episode of HBO's Life Stories, Families in Crisis entitled, The Coming Out of Heidi Leiter. In March 1993, a pilot episode was shot, when she was 13 years old. It would be almost another year and a half before broadcast. She then starred as the 15-year-old Angela Chase in the television drama series My So-Called Life. For her role, she won a Golden Globe Award and received an Emmy nomination. Despite being cancelled after only 19 episodes, My So-Called Life has developed a large cult following. In 1995, she starred in the Soul Asylum music video for Just Like Anyone. In 2010, Dane starred in the HBO production of Temple Grandin, a biopic about the autistic animal scientist. She won the 2010 Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Miniseries or a Movie, the 2011 Golden Globe Award for Best Actress, Miniseries or Television Film and the 2011 Screen Actors Guild Outstanding Performance by a Female Actor in a Television Movie or Miniseries Award. The film was well received and Grandin herself praised Danes's performance. From 2011 to 2020, Danes starred in the Showtime series Homeland, in which she played Carrie Matheson, an agent of the CIA who has bipolar disorder. She won the 2013 Golden Globe and the 2012 Golden Globe for Best Actress in a Television Series for her performance. She also won the 2012 and 2013 Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series for her performance in Homeland. In 2012, Time magazine named Danes one of the 100 most influential people in the world. On February 10, 2021, it was announced that Danes would helm the Apple drama series The Essex Serpent, replacing Kira Knightley as Cora Seaborn. Film Danes played Beth March in the 1994 film adaptation of Little Women. 
Although ABC cancelled my so-called life in 1995, her higher profile led to being cast in several film roles, including 1995's Home for the Holidays and 1996's I Love You, I Love You Not and to Jillian on her 37th birthday. Her first leading role on the big screen came in 1996, when she portrayed Juliet in the film Romeo plus Juliet, inspiring director Baz Luhrmann to call her, at age 16, the Meryl Streep of her generation. Later that year, it was reported that she turned down the female lead role in Titanic. In 1997, Danes played abused wife Kelly Riker in The Rainmaker, directed by Francis Ford Coppola, as well as Jenny in Oliver Stone's noir U-turn. In 1998, she played several very different roles, Cosette in Les Miserables, and the pregnant teenage daughter of Polish immigrants in Polish Wedding. In 1999, she made her first appearance in an animated feature with the English version of Princess Mononoke. That same year, she played the role of Julie Barnes in the big screen adaptation of the 1970s TV show The Mod Squad. She also starred in Broke Down Palace. Danes left her career temporarily to attend Yale, having made 13 films in five years. In 2002, she returned to film. She starred in Igby Goes Down. Later that year, she co-starred as Clarissa Vaughn's daughter in the Oscar-nominated film The Hours. The following year, she was cast in Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines, followed by Stage Beauty in 2004. She earned critical acclaim in 2005 when she starred in Shop Girl and the Family Stone. In 2007, she appeared in the fantasy Stardust, which she described as a classic model of romantic comedy. She appeared in the drama film Evening in the Flock. She was also featured in the film Me and Orson Welles. Theater Danes got her start in New York City theater appearing in performances of Happiness, Punk Ballet, and Kids on Stage, for which she choreographed her own dance. In April 2000, she appeared off-Broadway in Eve Ensler's The Vagina Monologues. In November of that same year, she appeared as Emily Webb in a one-night-only staged reading of Thornton Wilder's Our Town at All Saints Episcopal Church in Beverly Hills. The production was staged by Bess Armstrong, who had played the mother of Danes's character on My So-Called Life. In September 2005, Danes returned to New York's performance space 122, where she had performed as a child. She appeared in choreographer Tamar Rogoff's solo dance piece, Christina Olsen, American Model, where she portrayed the subject of Andrew Wyeth's famous painting Christina's World. Olsen suffered from muscular deterioration that left her weak and partially paralyzed. Danes was praised for her dance skills and acting in the project. In January 2007, Danes performed in performance space 122's Edith and Jenny. Later in 2007, Danes made her Broadway theater debut as Eliza Doolittle in the Roundabout Theater Company revival of George Bernard Shaw's Pygmalion, directed by David Grindley at the American Airlines Theater. In January 2012, Harvard University's Hasty Pudding Theatricals named Danes their 2012 Woman of the Year. In March 2016, Danes performed in Dry Powder by Sarah Burgess at the Public Theater, starring alongside John Krasinski, Hank Azaria and Sanjit De Silva. The play was directed by Thomas Kyle. Other work in 1995, Danes was the main character of Soul Asylum's music video for the song, Just Like Anyone. In 1997, Danes wrote an introduction to Neil Gaiman's death, The Time of Your Life. In 2012, Danes's audiobook recording of Margaret Atwood's The Handmaid's Tale was released at audible.com. Her performance won the 2013 Audi Award for Fiction. She hosted the 2013 Nobel Peace Prize concert in Oslo. In 2015, Danes was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Personal life Danes has been in therapy since the age of six and considers it a helpful tool and a luxury to self-reflect and get some insight. Since 1998, Danes remains banned from the Philippines and her films also remain banned in the region. The ban came after Danes said Manila, capital of the country, smelled of cockroaches, with rats all over, and that there is no sewage system, and the people do not have anything, no arms, no legs, no eyes. Danes later apologized for those remarks, but the Filipino authorities refused to lift the ban. Danes and her mother are supporters of the charity Afghan Hands, which helps women in Afghanistan gain independence, education, and livable wages. Danes is also a longtime supporter of Donors Choose, a website that allows public school teachers to create project requests. Danes is a feminist and has been critical of female underrepresentation within Hollywood. Relationships and family Danes met singer Ben Lee at her 18th birthday party in 1997. They dated for six years before separating in 2003. In 2003, Danes began dating actor Billy Crudup, with whom she starred in the film Stage Beauty. Their relationship attracted significant media attention, as it led to Crudup's breakup with actress Mary Louise Parker, who was seven months pregnant with their child at the time. Danes and Crudup's relationship lasted until 2006. Reflecting on their relationship, Danes had commented in 2016, that was a scary thing. It was really hard. I didn't know how to not do that. I was just in love with him, and needed to explore that, and I was 24. I didn't quite know what those consequences would be. But it's okay. I went through it. Danes met actor Hugh Dancy on the set of the film Evening in 2006. 
They announced their engagement in February 2009 and married in France in a private ceremony later that year. They have two sons, one born in 2012 and the other in 2018.